Nelson with the delivery. It was a good one as well, and it forced the hand of Fabianski. Kai Havertz with a, a deft flick here. Was a good stop. Played in with a nice bit of whip. Alvarez. Lost over and waiting for Kudus. He was in the right place at the right time. Couldn't quite find the target. Yeah, it's beautifully flighted, this one. Really was by Pakatar, was it, into the path of Kudos. Alves, so it backtracking furiously, Gabriel. Bowen with the corner, though, for West Ham, and it was a really good one. It's brilliant. It's gone all the way through. Well, Arsenal aren't happy. West Ham won't care. They have a breakthrough. Looked like it may have come off Ben White. You don't often see that from Arsenal or many other teams, actually, where he's just running back towards his own goal. You've normally got a player in there, standing there, so he can attack it. And Bowen put it into a good area, but he's not expecting that. There's... Nobody about, really. It's all those yellow shirts. It's a soft one from Arsenal's point of view, but a gift for West Ham now. Gary, who tried to dance his way around Alvarez. Trossard into Zinchenko. It's a turn and break free, and Ketia was waiting for it. He's been nicked away from him. Now a chance for West Ham to break. Rapanis keeps going. And waiting for options to arrive. Jorginho followed him all the way back. Jorginho. Really been able to get Leandro Trossard into this match so far. When they've had to, uh, when they've seen the chance to close down in Arsenal's half, they've done so well. Trossard over to Zinchenko, keeps it alive and lifted over by Enketia. And having got there first, ahead of again. Thought this might have ended up in the back of the net. He gets under it. It's probably their best chance. Well, back underway. And will Arsenal have a statement of intent in this second half? It's West Ham who drive forward. Looking to start the second half off. It's Bowen! So very nearly a second. Yeah, Pakatar picking the pocket of Jorginho, who was really sluggish. This time the pass was spot on to Bowen. That's a good stop from Ramsdale. Really good. How important might this be in the grand scheme of things? Against his former club. Again. Never looking for Kudus who deals with it brilliantly. What a finish from Mohamed Kudus. Who gives West Ham a two-goal cushion? And now they're in control of this Carabao Cup tie. That's absolutely superb from Kudus. I mean, the ball by again wasn't bad either, but to get beaten by such a long pass in this fashion, Zinchenko gets caught under it. But what about that for the first touch? And then Gabriel just st stands off it, puts his arms behind his back rather than attacking it. It's not the best to defend him, but what about that for a bit of skill? And a finish. And what a time to get it. Through the legs of Gabriel, who's just statuesque there. They like that switch of play. When you look at the replay there, that first touch was a little fortunate. Maybe two touches. But the finish, no mistake with that one. Well, we saw Arteta 
Still on the touchline, maybe wondering whether he should use some of his subs. I don't imagine it'll be too long now. There's a chance for an instant reaction. Havertz. West Ham have been physically strong out there. Bowen. And across to Sofal. And Rama was there, but so was Ben White. And a chance to Bowen! And Jared Bowen with an outstanding strike. And certainly West Ham seem to be on their way to the quarterfinals. Well, it's all falling for the Hammers, isn't it? What a, what a strike that was. Whether it took a deflection on the way, I don't know. Because I'm wondering why Ramsdale didn't do better with this. But Jared Bowen doesn't need telling where the goal is. Now it comes off the thigh of Kivior which makes it really difficult for the keeper. A slippery ball as well as the rain falls. And that, you suspect, might just be that. What a night for the Hammers so far. And what a miserable one for the Gunners. Fabio Vieira across to Tomiyasu. Collected, though, by Sofal. Well, space to keep going despite Martinelli's pressure. And it stays with West Ham too. Here's Emerson. Options ahead of him. Kudus was one of them. Goes again and it did take a deflection. He does have an eye for goal, this fella, doesn't he? An exciting player, not afraid to take responsibility. Odegaard from distance and held by Fabianski. Here's another chance for Arsenal. And they fire it through and they found it too. Martin Odegaard with merely a consolation in the end. First time really we've seen that kind of incisive football that we're so used to seeing cutting through a defence. The timing of the pass, the run off the ball and the finish. That really is the only time we've seen it from Arsenal. Well, there goes the full-time whistle, and it certainly was a performance that West Ham and David Moyes can be proud of. They were able to take control and hold on to it as well. An own goal from Ben White in the first half. West Ham able to take advantage and keep the momentum. Mohamed Kudu scoring the second goal for West Ham in some style. And then Jared Bowen made it 3-0 and made it even more comfortable for his West Ham team with a brilliant strike. Declan Rice's return to London Stadium wasn't quite how he would have hoped. A consolation goal in the end, though, for Martin Odegaard. But Arsenal bow out of the Carabao Cup by the fourth round. It's West Ham who progressed through to the quarterfinals, and it certainly is...